Today, one of the super domestiques, one of the big helpers won, Mikkel Berg, on site in Belmont de la Loire, stage four of the Criterium du Dauphiné 2023. Mikkel Berg is on top with his first professional victory. Stage winner and yellow jersey GC leader here in this race. And you have to think, he's been there for Tade Pogacar in so many races in the UA Team Emirates team. He's been there at the 2021 Tour when they won the race overall. He was there last year in 2022 to help Tade to an eventual second overall. And then this spring, helped him win Perry Nice and the Tour of Flanders. Today, it's the turn of Mikkel Berg. And there were a lot of winners and a lot of losers out there on the 31.1 kilometer course. It was a rolling course with an uphill punch to the finish line. And I wanna talk about first the guys that perhaps didn't go as well as they had hoped for today. The Frenchman, David Godu from Group Ahmed FDJ. Looking further down the results, we see the name of Richard Carapaz, the Ecuadorian former Giro d'Italia winner from EF Education. He would have hoped for more out of today. Egan Bernal from Team Ineos is still on the up and up after his injuries, hoping to head towards the Tour de France for Ineos, and he didn't finish so, so well today. And then we're looking further down at the Spaniard, Enrique Moss. He's the team's GC leader here at the race, Team Movistar, and he didn't do so well, so he's not gonna be happy with this result. But Movistar, they're gonna be looking at their American rider, Mateo Jorgensen, because Mateo, he said he wasn't too happy with the result today when I spoke with him there at the finish line, but he actually did quite well because now if we're looking at the overall standings, he sets around 13th, 14th overall, and that's gonna be very good for Movistar, a possible option for the team if Enrique Moss, in fact, is not going well. And another little highlight from the interview with Matteo Jorgensen is that we found out he not only crashed once, but twice yesterday in stage three. So he's recovered well from those injuries and looks good for the coming four stages in the Dauphiné. Also, as he's building towards the Tour de France because every time trial he does is experience. And we're looking at some of the other riders that did well today. The Australian Ben O'Connor from Team AG2R Citroën. Wow, what a surprise ride. When he was told of his result up there, by the team helper, he was even surprised. He now sits around fourth overall. And then we're looking at all the UAE team Emirates riders. Whoa, they did well. Felix Groschartner right there behind Ben O'Connor in the GC overall. Further down, their team leader, the British rider, Adam Yates. He did a great ride. He moved up some spots in the GC. So the team's looking good as we head into the next four days. In fact, it was Adam Yates who told Mikel Berg, Mikel, today's your stage. You can win this one. And Mikel went out there and he did it. And another rider of note will be Danny Martinez. He's Bernal's teammate at Team Ineos, and he'll possibly be one of the GC leaders for Ineos, along with an option of Tom Pitcock winner going into the Tour de France. He did well in the time trial today, and he moved up quite a bit in the overall in the GC. But Mikel Berg, chapeau, buddy. Tomorrow he's going to be living it up. In fact, he told us in the post-race interview, he's going to ask the mechanics to dress up the bike with all the yellow kit that they have, yellow bar tape, everything. Expect to see him out there possibly in yellow shoes and yellow shorts in addition to that Mayo Jean yellow jersey. And he said for sure Tade Pogacar is going to be watching this result today from the altitude training camp where he is in Sierra Nevada in southern Spain. And he's going to be watching with a smile because he wants Mikel Berg to taste a little bit of that success before he goes back into that workers role here in the Criterium du Dauphiné working for Adam Yates but also at the Tour de France, working for Tade Pogacar. So it's a day of celebration for Mikel Berg, a day of celebration for the UAE team that has Adam Yates, and of course for Tade Pogacar is watching from afar the Criterium du Dauphiné 2023 with Mikel Berg on top.